The Solidistic Company of Ghana says is investing nearly 45 million Ghana cities in short to long term projects to address intermittent power outages in the Ashanti region. Managing Director Kwame Ajimambedu says the company is in the process of replacing all its insulators in the region to deal with this problem. Prince Apia has the rest of the story. For some time now, some parts of Ashanti region have been experiencing intermittent power cuts for which many residents have not been happy about because presidents have announced some three months free electricity because of the COVID-19 effect and impact on the people. The Ashanti Strategic Business Unit also identified 14 frequent feeders in 14 areas causing the outages. Director at the unit, Engineer David Buedia Samoa, reviewed the duration for these trippings ranges from 4 to 37 hours. The outages presentation he made covers four weeks from 5th April to 2nd May this year. Managing Director Kwame Ajimai Budu addressed the media in Kumasi. You come to realize that there are some old transformers that need to be changed, cables, relays, reclosures, Sessionalizers and all other things. To mitigate this, we try as much as possible to replace most of them. Especially the jumper card is, not, is, is something that is frequently uh, uh, hurting us. And uh, our uh, field guys normally, just to restore quick service to our customers, they instead of using uh, connectors, they use uh, winding, the same way to wind it to get light for our customers. Starting last week, we've made it a policy. At no point should a, a, a fourth a personnel will wind a, jump, a jumper, but rather the, a, you use the actual connector to make sure uh, you sustain the power. We've also come to realize that uh, some, of our, some of us trying to steal power from us make our transformers overloaded. In our system, we know how many people are on, on each transformer, but for somebody doing illegal, will be on the blind side of us, so it will overload the transformers. And many a times, the overload transformers trip the feeder and causing outages. Meanwhile, the managing director, Kwame Ajimambudu, has been explaining that the ECG is investing some 15 million Ghana cities in the short term and a little close to 30 million Ghana cities in the medium term to address some of these challenges and improve connectivity and power supply here in the Ashanti region. Our uh, area here in Ashanti region, we are trying to construct a primary substation at the Agogo area, which will link Konongo, Agogo, and uh, Jusso together so that we have a stable you know, uh, service. We are spending about 15 million Ghana cities to reinforce the system or our network. We are also trying to, in the medium term, we try to pump in 29.5 million cities and we plan to install, uh, construct at, at the Adanse Asukwa area, which will link Kumase, Obuase, Neo Dubiase, so that we can have a, a stable network or service. The amount that I just said, it's not like noise, it's sitting there. It's ongoing. If, it might, maybe we might have spent maybe 10 million already or 5 million already. It's ongoing. A, year, a minimum a year to complete. Meanwhile, ECG says it is working to ensure these outages stops and therefore implores the public against power theft. Prince Apia reporting.